Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juan Carlos Monsalve. Today is June 20th, 2024. The time of this recording is 12.45 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to play another show of Baccarat today. And um, I have my spreadsheet already updated here and to start. We have played so far seven, 78 shoes. 40 of those shoes have started with the player. Uh, 29 have started with a bank. That's why I start with player. Uh, nine shoes have started with a tie. Uh, for a total of 78 shoes, I already updated this information with my um, other spreadsheet that I have. That it shows here all the shoes that I have. The last one was in June 19. That was yesterday. 78 shoes there. And that one started with player. That's uh, where I keep all all the shoes um, in one place and then i split them and those are started with player those are started with banker um so i'm ready to start the first thing that we do every time that we start a new shoe is um, to bar the first card so for so the first card that we burn today is the eight of spades so i need to burn eight more cards uh, let me check something else here so one, two, three, four, and then four more, five, six, seven, eight. This is for a total of nine, nine cars that we burn the first, uh, first thing. Let me go back to my spreadsheet here. I enter this information here underneath the date that I already entered, eight of spades. And then I start with the new, I'm gonna enter and split here so I can freeze my title so I can see the top portion of the screen. Um, so the first hand, so first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker, uh, player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a four for a total of seven. Banker has a five and a five gets a third card. Um, a third card is the player. Third card is anything from four to seven. From this one, it gets a third card. The third card is a zero. So it remains at five. So player seven, banker five. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. Because I already, for the last three days, this is the third day in a row that the, that the shoe starts with player. I don't need to change the strategy. The strategy already is the one that I have here. Um, it's, it's, already, it's already formulated. So when it starts with player, I just follow the same strategy. I see here that the weight is 40. It's because it has been updated already. Uh, my next two hands, I will be playing banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a two. Uh, banker has a five and it only gets a third card if it, the player third card is uh, between four to seven. So no more cards for banker. So player two, banker five. This is a banker hand. I was playing... Um, I was playing banker. I won this hand. That was my second win of $25. My next play is a banker, and it shows that it's a, um, a strong banker, minus eight. It's, above, it's seven or above and seven. So it's a, uh, a strong banker, in my opinion. So next hand, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a six, banker has a natural nine. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. This is my third hand in a row. Um, because I haven't lost anything, it's still this $25 uh, that's the minimum bet that we start. My next play is going to be a player, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is an eight, so it goes down to one. Uh, player one, banker seven. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. I lost this hand. I lost $25. Now I am down from $75 to $50. 
And my next bet is going to be to Banker. And because I lost uh, this bet of 25, I will double my next bet. Uh, similar to the Martingale, uh, the only difference is if I win, I won't reset back to 25. I will um, stay at the same bet amount that I have if I get a win. So my next bet is going to be a Banker. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a seven. Uh, banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a four for a total of six. So player seven, banker six. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. I lost $50. Those are the $50 that I had before. So I lost them. I lost the $50. Now I am down to zero, and uh, but I'm still up one, uh, one hand. So I have uh, one more hand won than lost. Uh, I go to hand number six, and because I lost uh, this uh, $50, my next bet is gonna be 100, and I'm gonna be playing, or I'm gonna be betting to player. So first card player, first card banker, Second card player, second card banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a one for a total of two. Banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of four. So player two, banker four. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. I lost $100. Now I am down $100 and I am even in the number of hands won and lost. My next bet of uh, $200, I will double this 100. My next bet of $200 uh, will be for, it's going to be to Banker, and it's a strong Banker. Let's see how it goes. First card player, first card Banker, second card player, second card Banker. Now, I have a Natural 8 player, but I got a Natural 9 Banker. So I won this hand. This is, uh, again, this one is, it was an, a strong banker. So I won this hand. I won, I won $200 and I met my, uh, no, I haven't met my target. I'm back to $100 positive. I was down 100 and now I am up one hand, one more hand won than loss. My next bet is going to be two, uh, two banker and I, it will be the same amount of 200. Let's see how it goes. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a five, so it goes down to zero. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a nine. So player zero, banker nine. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. I won $200 and because I was up. 100 plus 200 is going to be 300. My the rules or the uh, the rules that I have in regards to uh, when to leave, when to uh, when to um, get out of uh, betting. Um, when I have one win and without uh, reaching the target, plus one more win when I reach the target. On this one, I reached the target, but because I won two in a row, on the second one was when I reach the target, I have to keep playing. So I'm going to keep playing the $200 that, I'm, that I was already up. And my next bet is going to be a player, player $200. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a six and, get, and it stands. Banker has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a three for a total of seven. So player six. Banker seven, this is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. I lost $200. Now I am, um, I'm, I'm still at 100, but my next bet is gonna be 400 since I lost this bet. So my next two bets will be to banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Now I have a tie hand. This is a seven player, seven banker. This is a tie hand. I was playing, uh, was playing banker, but there is no win or loss on this hand. Every time that I get a tie hand, I go over the scores. 
Uh, it shows here that I have uh, two players, seven bankers, one tie for a total of 10 hands. This is what I have so far in the shoe. My next bet, again, is going to be 200, and it's going to be two banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of five. Banker has a five and only gets a third card. If the player third card is between four to seven, so no more cards for Banker. So I have five player, excuse me, five player and five Banker. This is another tie. Five player, five Banker. So this is another tie. So no winner on this hand either. So I repeat the numbers here, two players, seven bankers, two ties for a total of 11 hands. My next uh, bet is gonna be again, it's gonna be another 200, but now uh, I move. I don't I hear many YouTubers or many uh, backup players that every time that they get a tie hand, they, they don't move the money. In my strategy, you move the money to the next one uh, to the next hand in my strategy. In this case, it's going to be two players. Next, uh, next two hands will be for two, two, two players. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is another zero. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of three. So player zero. Banker three, this is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. I lost $400. Now I am down 300. My next play is going to be another player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a five. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a zero. So it remains at one. So player five, banker one, and this is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. I was I won eight hundred dollars since my previous one was a loss. I won eight hundred dollars. Now I am at five hundred. Five hundred in thirteen hands, and this is an stop for me. When I have a loss without reaching my target, and then a win when I reach my target. With this win, if, I, if I'm already on my target or above my target, so this is a stop for me. So in this shoe, um, in 13 hand, I won $500. The reason why I do this is because any strategy, no, not only my strategies, but any strategy that, that can be used, it can go into a chopping, a chop, a chop, chop. So to avoid any additional losses and any additional losses uh, with this one chop i i leave right after the first chop i'm not sure if we're gonna win or lose the next hand but that's enough for me you know for me 500 dollars only one shoe for with 13 hands that's enough for me uh, with this uh, with this strategy so my next uh, my next three bets will be two uh, three bankers the first two are strong bankers. Let's see how it goes. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a five for a total of nine. So nine player, seven banker. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. No money here since uh, I, I didn't bet at this time. If I have um, continue betting, I will have bet uh, $800 and we have lost. And my next bet will have been double. So that's why there is an exit. That is, uh, and those, uh, those is, um, the rules of my strategy are there for a reason. Because of the experience, because of the shoes that I've been able to play, not only at the casino, but also at home. That's why I made those changes, those adjustments to my 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 formulas and my strategies. My next uh, strategy, my next uh, bet is going to be a banker, and this one is uh, a strong banker. But even if I say it's a strong banker, it doesn't mean that it's a guarantee that it's going to be a banker. 
it can go either way. We are still we are still gambling. We are just zero in the possibilities of losing. Um, so my next bet is going to be a banker, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker, and um, I have here a natural eight and a natural nine banker. So uh, this one repeat again. I will have a similar situation here. Hand number seven. I got a. I was playing banker because it was a strong banker minus twelve, and I got an eight. Uh, and I think that it was a natural eight, but I also got a natural nine. In this case, it repeats again. It was a minus twelve in a strong banker, but I have a natural eight on player, but I have a natural nine on banker. The natural nine of banker is a higher number than natural eight. So I won this hand. If I have continue, yes, I would have uh, lost this one here and I will have um, double here. But because we are kind of doing uh, the strategy of Martingale, uh, at some moment, uh, at some point, we will, we won't be, we are not able to double anymore. And there are some table limits in regards to how high you, we can, we can bet. My next uh, bet is going to be another banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, I have a natural eight player and a three banker. This is a player hand. I was playing, uh, I was playing player. And uh, no, actually, it says a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. Again, no more money here. But here, it started the chop. I won here. Uh, excuse me, I lost here, won here, lost here, won here, lost here. So this is a five chop. This is a five chop. And if every time that we lose, we double. Um, we can win, but if we don't quit, we don't stop betting, then that's when we lose. My next uh, few hands will be players. I will be playing five hands in a row. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a seven. Banker has a natural eight. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. My next play is going to be another player. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a seven and a stance. Banker has a five and gets a third card. The third card is an eight. So five plus eight, um, three. So player seven, banker three. This is a, a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next three hands, I will be playing player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Now this is a two natural nine, natural nine player, natural nine banker. This is a tight hand. I uh, was playing player. Um, the total here, we have six players, 10 bankers, three ties for a total of 19 hands. My next two plays will be two players. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a seven for a total of nine. Banker has a seven. No more cards for banker. So player nine, banker seven. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next uh, play will be another player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a six and a stance. Banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at two. So player six, banker two. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. Uh, my next uh, three plays will be bankers. I will be playing banker three times in a row. First card player, first card banker, second card player. Second card banker, player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at four. Banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so it goes down to two. So player four, banker two. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. 
my next play will be another uh, two, two bankers. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a seven and a stance. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a six. So player seven, banker six. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next, um, my next play will be a banker, and it's a strong banker, minus eight. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a six and a stance. Banker has a seven and a stance. This is a six player, seven banker. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next play is going to be a, a player, and it's a strong player. It's a positive 14. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is an eight, so it goes down to three. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a two. So player three. Uh, banker two, this is a player hand. I was playing player, I won this hand. And, and that was a strong uh, player. They, he won by only one point, but still it was a player. My next three hands will be bankers. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at five. Banker has a five, no more cards for banker. So player five, banker five. This is a tight hand. And I go over the total, so every time that I get a tight hand, I have 11 players, 11 bankers, four ties for a total of 26 hands. My next two plays will be a two bankers. First card player, first card banker, second card player, Second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at zero. Banker, uh, banker has a seven. No more cards for banker. So zero player, seven banker. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. On this side of the screen, on the left side, it shows the strategies. The one that I'm using is where it says here my play and here the weight because I'm using the player's uh, uh, first hand player um, strategy. This is this column here. Um, that means that, well, it's, it's, it's updated, it's minus three. But the next uh, hand is going to be a banker. I'm going to be playing banker. It's zero. It's zero here. That means that it, they, in 40 issues, I have started with player. Lane number or row number 28 has been even in the number of players and the number of bankers. So that's why it's zero. But because there is a little advantage on banker, I, and that was my personal choice to play banker on these zero situations. I just play banker. I like to play all the hands. That's why I just don't like to skip hands and don't play. So on this one, I play banker. But again, it can go either way. But that is my choice. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Now I have another tie hand. So nine player, nine banker. This is a tie hand. And uh, I can see also here how tight this uh, shoe is. 11 players, 12 bankers, five ties for a total of 28, 28 hands. And that was a banker because I have a tight hand and my next uh, hand uh, is a player. I will move my money to the next uh, to the next uh, hand in my strategy. Many people just leave the money where, where, they, uh, where they had it before the tie or during the tie. So my next play will be, my next two plays will be two players. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, Second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a seven, so it goes down to two. Two player, seven banker. This is a uh, player hand. Excuse me, this is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost his hand. My next um, play will be another player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. 
player has a one and gets a third card, the third card is a one for a total of two. Banker has a zero and gets a third card, the third card is another zero. So it remains at zero. So player two, banker zero. This is a player hand. I was playing uh, player. I won this hand. My next uh, uh, few hands will be bankers. I will be playing five bankers in a row. The next one is uh, strong, is minus 11. That's why I play banker on this one. So on a strong banker next, so first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a natural eight and banker has a seven. This is a player hand. I was playing banker, I lost this hand. I lost uh, the hand when that I said it was a strong banker. Still, it goes either way. I uh, have 50 chance, fifty percent chances of player, fifty percent chances of a, a banker. Uh, but that's part of the game. Sometimes uh, I win, sometimes I lose. So this one, uh, my next uh, four hands, I will be playing banker, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a natural nine. Banker has a zero. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next three plays will be bankers. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a seven on his stance. Banker has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at uh, five. Seven player, five banker. This is a player hand. I was playing bank. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. Uh, my next two plays will be two more bankers. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a six for a total of seven. Banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a seven for a total of nine. So player, player seven. Banker nine, this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I excuse me, this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next uh, play will be another banker. Yeah, I got confused here because it's minus one and minus one. This is the weight. I mean, that is uh, this one is an strong, it's not a strong banker, it's only. In uh, those four issues, I have started with player. Hand number 34 on this one. It shows that only one more play, one more banker than player in those 40, 40 hands or the 40 shoes. Uh, my next uh, play will be another banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a natural eight. Banker has a five, and this is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. And you see here, this is a zero here. No more in 35 hands. Is, um, I'm even in the number of player, uh, in the number of uh, wins and losses. So there is a balance, or the, the what I, my estimation is that the, the physical universe is try to maintain a balance. Um, that's why here is a player 16, bankers 14. This is very common on a two of Baccarat that they try to even out players and bankers with a little eight on the banker side most of the times. And here the same thing. That's why, yes, to, uh, the recommendation is to be in and out, uh, have a small target or a target, reach a target and get out because the formula can go against you. So my next uh, bet is gonna be two player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a five for a total of six. Banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a three for a total of five. So player six, banker five. This is a player hand. I was playing player, I won this hand. My next two plays will be two bankers. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of four. Banker has a seven, no more card for bankers. 
So four players, seven banker. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next uh, play will be another banker. So first card player, first card banker. Seven. Okay, we're playing hand number 39. Um, so first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at zero. Zero player, seven banker, no more cards for banker. So this is a banker hand. Zero seven. Uh, this is a banker hand. I was playing uh, player. I uh, lost his hand. Uh, my next uh, play will be a banker, and this is a strong banker. It's minus ten. Actually, it's going to be three bankers in a row, then one player. Uh, the next four hands, the next three hands will be banker, strong bankers. First card player, first card banker. Second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a natural eight. Banker has a natural nine. This is a banker hand. If it happened the same thing that happened before twice, we have a natural eight player and then a natural nine banker. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next two plays will be two more bankers. So first card player, first card banker. Second card player, second card banker. Player has a two and gets a third card. The third card is an eight, so it goes down to zero. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a one. So player zero, banker one. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next uh, hand will be, uh, my next play would be another banker. So first card player. First card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a two and gets a third card. The third card is another two, so it goes to four. Uh, four player and seven banker, no more cards for banker. And um, now I'm going to play player, and it's a strong player, it's seven positive, so player. First card player, first card banker, second card player. Second card banker. Player has a six and a stance. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a nine. So this one it goes to banker. So six player, nine banker. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost his hand. My next uh, play will be uh, a banker. It's going to be two bankers in a row. So first card player. First card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a two. And banker has a four and it gets a third card. If a player third card is between two to seven, so this uh, the banker gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so it goes down to three. So player two, banker three. And this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next uh, play will be another banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a seven and banker has another seven. So this is a tie hand. And um, again, I go over the scores here. I have 17 players, 22 bankers, six ties for a total of 45 hands. My next uh, play will be, I will be playing player for the next uh, three hands. The next one is a nine positive, one five positive, and the other one eight positive. This one, nine and eight. Those are strong players. That's the one in the middle, five, not too strong. 
but not too weak either. So let's see what happens. So player my next three hands. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a six and it stands and banker has a natural eight. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. My next play will be a player. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a seven and banker has a natural eight. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I lost, excuse me, I was playing player. I lost this hand. My next uh, play will be a player. It's a strong player. It's a, po a positive eight. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at zero. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at zero. So zero player, zero banker. This is a tie hand. Uh, I go over the scores here. I have 17 players, 22, excuse me, 24 bankers, seven ties for a total of 48 hands. My next uh, play will be, uh, I will be playing banker. And it's going to be a few bankers. I will be playing five bankers in a row. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at four. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at one. So player four, banker one. This is a... Play a hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next play is going to be a banker. First card player. First card banker. Second card player. Second card banker. Player has a seven and a stance. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a four. So this is a seven player. Four banker. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next uh, play will be a, a, another banker. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so it goes down to four. Banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is an eight, so it goes down to zero. So player four, banker zero. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. Uh, now I'm going to see how many I have lost in a row. I have lost uh, five in a row. Two here, one tie, plus three more. That's five, five losses in a row. But I'm not betting any more money. I'm already out. Uh, my next two plays will be two bankers. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a natural eight. Excuse me, natural nine. A banker has a two. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next play will be a, another banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. A player has a natural nine. Banker has a seven. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next uh, two plays will be two players. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of three. Banker has a five, but it only gets a third card. Either player third card is anything from four to seven. So no more cards for banker. So player three. Banker five. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost his hand. My next play will be a player, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at five. Banker has a four, no more cards for banker. So player five, bankers, uh, banker four. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. Uh, on this column, it shows that I am down two hands. That means that uh, from the w wins and losses, I have lost two more hands than those that I have won. Uh, very even. 
Um, the same thing shows here. Players 23, bankers 25, ties 7 for a total of 55 hands. Um, this is what I call the physical universe try to maintain a balance. That's why when one of the colors, a banker or player, is ahead, the other one at the end of the shoot tries to label out uh, the same thing here. And that happens with any strategy uh, of everything that I have studied so far. This is what I have noticed. My next two hands, I will be playing banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a three for a total of four. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a five. So player four. And banker five. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next play is going to be a banker. Um, and a first card player. First card banker. Second card player. Second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a six, so it goes down to one. Bank, uh, banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a five. So player player one, banker five. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. Uh, my next play, and it's going to be in a strong player. I will be playing four, uh, three players in a row. And I see here that I'm already back to zero. That means that. Um, even number of uh, hands won and number of, uh, of uh, hands lost are the same, so that's why it's zero. My next play is going to be a player, and it's an, a strong player according to my my previous shoes. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at two. Banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at it remains at two. So this one is a two, two. Um, it's a tie hand. And I go over the numbers again. The, I have 23 players, 27 bankers, eight, um, eight tie for a total of 58 hands. My next uh, play will be uh, player, two players. So first card player, first card banker, second card player. Second card banker, player has a natural eight, but also banker has a natural eight. This is two naturals, uh, two ties in a row. So I have 23 players, 27 bankers, nine ties for a total of 59 hands. And my next play will be another player, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so it goes down to three. Banker has a three and he gets a third card. The third card for banker is a nine, so it goes down to two. So player three, banker two, and um, this is a this is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. Now I am up one hand and. Um, things, uh, the same thing that we see that happen at the casino also happen at home. If you play long enough uh, uh, these shoes, you will see that the same thing happen. Um, some curious things happen with these cards. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a three and banker has a natural eight. And I have a three player, natural eight banker. This is a banker hand, and it was a strong banker. I have minus 14. That was a strong banker, and I got banker, so I won this hand. My next play will be a player, and it's going to be a strong player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a three. Banker has a natural eight. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost his hand. My next uh, play will be a banker, and it's a strong banker. It's minus 12. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a six for a total of seven. Banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a seven. So 
uh, it goes to zero. So seven players, zero banker. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next uh, hand, I will be playing player. Is a strong player. On these two, I didn't get the correct one. And I say play a strong player, but I got a banker. And here I say strong um, banker, but I got a player. So my next one is going to be a strong player. So how it, let's see how it goes. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a seven and a stance. Banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a four for a total of six. So player seven, banker six. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next uh, two plays will be two bankers. They are two strong bankers. One is minus nine and the other one is minus 11. Let's see what happens. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a two. Um, banker has a natural nine. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I want this hand. My next um, uh, play will be another banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a natural eight. Banker has a one. This is a, a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. My next play will be another player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a one. Banker has a natural eight. And this is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost his hand. My next three hands, I will be playing banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is an eight. So... This is eight player and banker six. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next uh, uh, two plays will be bankers. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a seven, so it goes down to one. Banker has a three and he gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so it goes down to two. So player one, banker two, and this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next play will be another banker. And again, we see here that we have we are even number of hands won and lost. Um, my next play will be a banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. So player six, banker natural eight. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next play, and it's going to be a strong player. I have seven, positive seven. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a four for a total of nine. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a two. So player nine, banker two. This is a player hand. I was playing uh, player. So I won this hand. My next uh, play will be a banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a seven. Banker has a five and he gets a third card. Anytime that the player third card is between four to seven, he gets a third card. The third card is a two, so it goes to seven as well. So this is a... Um, Three card seven, three card seven, both of them. Uh, with those that uh, like to play um, side bets, there is an option for uh, a tie hand, I think, for three card seven, and it pays like 200 to one or something like that. I'm not a big fan. I'm trying to get into a study also those probabilities of, uh, of the side bets. But as of right now, I don't have anything. I may add something later about that.
So uh, seven, seven and a half here, uh, 29 players, 33 bankers, 10, uh, 10 ties for a total of 72 hands. And uh, my next play will be a, a player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a natural nine. Banker has a two. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next, um, my next uh, hand, I will be playing banker. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a natural eight. Banker has a six. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. My next uh, two hands will be two players. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a four. And banker has a zero. So third card for player is a one for a total of five. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a two. So player five. And banker two, this is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next play will be another player. First card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a zero. Banker has a natural nine. This is a banker hand. I was playing a player. I lost this hand. Uh, my next, uh, my next uh, four plays will be bankers. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. I got a card card, second card banker. Uh, so player one and he gets a third card. The third card is another one. So it goes to two. Player two, banker seven. And this is a... Um, uh, this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. And uh, my next play will be another banker. And that will be the last hand of the two. First card player, first card banker, second card player, uh, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a six, so it goes down to one. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so it goes down to zero. So player one and uh, banker zero so this is a player hand i was playing banker i lost this hand and uh, i go over uh, over the numbers uh, on the entire shoe i was up two two hands so i won i won uh, two more hands than those that i lost if i was playing flat bed uh, flat bed so i would have been up two hands, but I would have to pay commissions uh, with it for the times that I um, that I won with this uh, with banker. Usually 5% unless I'm playing in one of those uh, other tables like Super 6 or or 7, uh, the 3 card 7, when you say 3 card 7 on a Super 7 uh, table is a kind of a push. Um, so but it, um, I was up two hands in the way that uh, my strategy works. I was down $300 at some point and my and my highest bet was 800 So to be able to survive this shoe, I would have needed 1100 My recommendation to use my strategy and my money management, Monsalve betting system, I recommend to have at least uh, 60 units. 60 units of 25 is 1500 um, I'm going to save this, uh, this information. What I do every time when I finish the shoe, I come here to the results, uh, make sure that I am in hand number one, and I copy this data. I go all the way down to hand number 81, even though I didn't go all the way to hand number 81, I still copy the entire, the entire, uh, uh, results uh, mm. column. Uh, I copy this. I go to my other spreadsheet uh, where I have all the all the all the data of previous shoes. I go here where it says all, 
and I paste paste special and I bring only the values I don't bring because those are formulas so I don't bring the formulas and then because this shoe started with player I go to the player tab and I uh, copy that data there as well in player and I do right click in my mouse and then I go here to it's taking longer than usual Base special and I bring the same data to this uh, column here. I enter the date here, uh, June 20, 2024, and I bring the, or I enter the, the car that I, my first car, uh, eight of a spades. So I enter that information. I don't use that information. I'm not using it. Uh, but it doesn't mean that I won't use it in the future. If one day I decide to um, to study, I have the data. Um, 6 So, something that I would like to show you this time, and every time I'm going to try to and give you a little bit more data. Uh, this is a big spreadsheet. I just keep the data here. And if I go all the way to the end, it tells me the totals. And I have a space for 200, uh, 200 shoes on each one of them. So if I come here, it tells me uh, the results. The results, it tells me here. Um, It says how many sh how many shoes um, have started. It's, there is a difference of twelve. If I put all together, all the shoes, it says twelve more shoes have started with player than banker, and then uh, five um, actually four four bankers. If I see all the all the shoes together, it tells me here. What is the um, uh, what is the? I have some titles here. I'm gonna freeze these titles. Um, so it, it tells me here how many more bankers if it's negative, or how many more players if it's positive, and uh, how many hands on each on each shoe, how many ties on each shoe. Uh, how many net hands? Net hand is the total of hands less uh, the ties, and it tells me uh, according to like on this one negative sixteen um, out of uh, the seventy nine hands, it gives me an advantage or uh, the banker in this case because it's negative of twenty two point twenty two twenty two percent more bankers than players, and if I go all the way to the end. Um, on the first section here, it tells me how many more more no, I need to prepare more for this. I will give you more data in regards to this. Uh, probably the most important data is what is the uh, percentage of uh, of bankers, uh, excuse me, of ties. I see here that when I compare all the shoes, it says that the ties percentage is 9.18. Uh, the advantage of the of the player is 70, is 9.13. Actually, this is the bank. When I separate the, the player, banker, and ties, I get uh, better numbers for player or banker. If I separate them, it goes from 9% all the way to 14% or 14%. Those are advantages. Um, but I will prepare a better 
I will make a better presentation for, for these numbers. I just wanted to show you that. So that's all for today. This is, uh, this is the end of the shoot today. Uh, 